Hey guys, my last full food day here in Jeju. You know what a food day is, right? You wake up, you tell you get sleepy and go to bed. Anyway, I'm starting the day off here at the traditional five-day market. This is the largest and oldest traditional market here in Jeju with over 100 years history since 1905 to be exact and it has over a thousand stores and right now it's in the morning like I mentioned it is already bustling so we're gonna go inside and do some exploring and hopefully get some good stuff to eat. Oh, they got everything in here. And this market is, is kind of sectioned off. So there's a section for flowers, section for vegetables. First off, since it's the morning, I got myself some donuts. Uh, this stall right here, you see how hopping it is? Supposedly, they make some awesome donuts. I want to start with this. This thing's got a nice crispy outer shell. Looks like the inside is very soft. Oh, this is amazing. Nice and aromatic, super airy, crunchy on the outside, so soft and pillowy on the inside. The more traditional looking donut. This is way denser than the last donut. I'm even trouble tearing this apart. Wow, this is really, really dense. I mean, it's still delicious, but this is gonna give your jaw a nice workout. Much heavier than any donut I've ever had, texture-wise, from this baby here. I mean, in my opinion, this is much better, but this is really good to eat if you don't want to feel hungry for the rest of the day. This one, this bad boy, looks pretty insane. Looks like there's something inside. Ooh, red bean on the inside. By the way, this thing is piping hot. Oh my God, my favorite so far. Incredibly crunchy on the outside, so pillowy on the inside, and that smooth red bean paste, it's like I'm biting into the sole of this donut. In that water, when you bite down, you get a crunch, you get that nice chew, then you get that sweet, creamy filling. This thing, honestly, feels like a rock. I think it's like some kind of yam, or maybe some kind of water chestnut thing on the inside. Oh, this is crumbly and heavy. This is not my favorite. This last one is like a donut hole. mochi donut with, with red bean filling. I can tell I'm gonna love the heck out of this one. Sweet, chewy, crunchy. Ain't nothing not to love about that bite. This and the super airy one I had in the beginning, my favorites. Just wish I had some hot tea to go with this. Let's keep eating. Jeju is actually really famous for their mandarin oranges. So there are different types of mandarin oranges. This one is more of a mutt and it's mixed with different breeds of oranges and mandarin. Mm. Ridiculously juicy and sweet. I'm gonna try this mixed breed here. Oh, that's amazing. It's got much more of an orangey flavor. You can taste the sunshine in that bite. One bite, you can tell. That's not your typical orange. Oh, I've been looking for her. This is a really traditional um, Jeju snack item. She's making crepes and putting inside some mixed veggies. This is supposed to be amazing. This is the bun. It's a lot lighter than I thought. It's actually really light. And this is made with barley. She told me the green veggie is mugwort, which is which is a really fragrant vegetable. Something I've never had before. It's melted sugar inside. Mm. This is a sweet bump. The sugar is kind of overwhelming the hogwart for me. So I can't really tell what that veggie really tastes like, but it is very aromatic. It's like eating the Pillsbury Doughboy. It's strangely addictive. The crepe, very, very soft. On the first bite, I, I didn't love the radish. Slightly crunchy, very refreshing. But I think what kind of makes this really good is the sesame seeds that she adds in here, which mixed in with the radish just creates this very, very aromatic, extremely sesame flavor. And that combo is what I find really addictive about this. I think the overall, it's just okay. I mean, it's good, but nothing I'll ever miss. Shiju market number two. This market is not a five-day market. And by the way, five, 
By the way, uh, five day market is called that because it only happens every five days. This market is always here. This is more like, almost like a night market. And this is the Dongmen market, which means the yeast gate market. I'm not starting for another hour though, I'm a little early. Man, I wanna eat now. Rice cake is, is a Jeju specialty, and they got all sorts of flavors like peanuts and black sesame. They're recommending the black sesame. I don't know about you guys, but I love rice cakes. And this, they made these rice cakes fresh here. And you can tell because, first of all, rice cakes don't last that long, maybe like a day or two. And this is so soft. Oh my God, it's awesome. Oh, you know, check out the inside. Red bean paste on the inside. And again, probably the most pillowy mochi I've had in a long, long, long time. You can tell this is super fresh. Oh, and this one is real special. Jeju Mandarin. This is so good, I wish someone would pinch me to make sure I'm not food dreaming again. I've had the typical flavors of rice cakes in Korea, black sesame, peanut. It never had my rice cake with mandarin oranges. And of course, mandarin is one of the specialties of Jeju. This is so, biting into this. Feels like I'm taking a walk in an orchard. And on the inside, it's red bean paste again, but they, uh, they de-skinned the red beans so you don't have that red color. It's a much smoother texture than, you know, the, the beans with the clothes on. One of the things you gotta try in Jeju. And this is the Jeju shrimp. It's a very, very unique shrimp that's only here in Jeju. And they call it duck shrimp because in the ocean, the shrimp just goes duck, 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 duck. There you go. What's kind of amazing about this market is that I'm walking through the seafood section and I don't see a single fly. And right now, it, it's, not, it's not cold here. It's pretty warm in Jeju. I mean, this is all meat and fish just laying out. Not a single fly. Amazing. There's a line already forming right over there. Um, and they're selling spicy pork and abalone rice. This market is not too hard to figure out what food's good because the locals would have formed the line already. This is black pork. It's covered in chili flakes. And they torched the rice and the pork. Oh, that's juicy. Oh, look at that. That is a glorious piece of fat right there. The rice, you can see like little bits of carbon in there. And you can tell that it was cooked in extremely high heat. Oh my God. Oh, this is good. I know that using blow torches to cook the food might seem a little gimmicky, but you can't argue the results. This is mind-blowingly good. Every single bite, you're gonna feel it here and here. The pork, perfect level of spice. Ridiculously juicy. Of course, it's got the signature clean flavor and the chewiness. And it's all sitting on top of a bed of morning glory. And the pork juice is just steeping into the veggies as well. Everything's great. Only thing I don't really taste is the abalone flavor in the fried rice. It's supposed to be abalone innards cooked into the fried rice, which is something I've had in Jeju before. It's still good, just lacking that particular flavor. I need this. There's no rule against having ice cream between savory dishes, right? This guy is serving Jeju Mandarin ice cream on grilled mini eggs. What's interesting about the, the ice cream here is that there's three different types of mandarin. See this dried mandarin they put on top? This is one type. The syrup is another type, and the ice cream is a third type. Hmm. I have a mandarin trifecta. I actually opted not to get the mini egg wrap because I think I want more space in my stomach for meat. Mm. Very citrusy. Pretty good palate cleanser before my next dish. This place serves fresh abalone on a tepan. And the use of blowtorches seems to be a common motif in this night market. At this point, when I'm walking around Jeju, if I see it, someone cooking abalone, I want to eat it. So far, I've had abalone grilled, I've had abalone in hot pot. Now, abalone on the skewer, check that off my list. It, it's much smaller than the abalone I've had before. Just as tender though. You cannot go wrong with abalone and Jeju at all. And they have a bunch of different sauces to dip this in. There's chili, spicy, and mustard. There's some pumpkin. 
I'm just gonna dip the pumpkin in the chili. And then, see? Not just the head. My favorite way to eat abalone, it's still grilled, but pretty darn good. It's a thin layer of bacon wrapped around pork, wrapped around cabbage. It's grilled, blowtorched, crispy garlic on top, covered in spicy sauce, chives on the side. And this is just like the craziest pork roll I've ever seen. The only thing that might not be so good about this is, is it's just stuffed with cabbage. Pour a little garlic on top. I'm gonna add a little chive. One bite. Let's start with the positives. There's so many different elements of crunch. You got the crispy garlic, you got the charred pork belly, nice and garlicky chives, so it provides different types of crunch, which is spectacular. The sauce, it's good. It's spicy, a little barbecue-y. The pork is Jeju black pork belly, so it's not gamey, it doesn't have a huge porky flavor. So the fat doesn't really spill out that well, so it doesn't really engulf the veggies. And because of that, you do taste a lot of the cabbage. And that's what I kind of fear would be all I really taste. And that turned out to be true. Overall, it's not bad, but I don't like a Tootsie Pop, not really excited to get to the middle. So in general, most of the stalls here, they, they sell black pork, uh, where they sell abalone. So I'm thinking for my next savory item, this looks really interesting. It's a corn dog stand, but they're serving Jeju carrots corn dog. And of course, Jeju is known to produce some of the best carrots in the world, um, and they're implementing it in a corn dog. So this is my carrot dog, and the carrot is mixed in with the batter. And I'm thinking there's a sausage inside, and the condiments, this is really interesting. Sugar, you can put sugar all over this. I guess, while wow, in Jeju, let's try it with the sugar. A little bit of ketchup. Then some mustard, why not? Let's add some hot sauce to it. I'm, uh, I'm afraid to take a bite of this. Franken dog, but it smells good. My tongue was already really raw from the last spicy sauce I had. Oh man, this thing is hot. Whew. But I'll tell you what, this couple of ketchup, mustard, and, and hot sauce, you may not believe me, and sugar, you may not believe me, tastes pretty darn good. Oh, you can see the carrots in the batter of this corn dog. Well, actually, I shouldn't call this a corn dog because this is made from, the batter is made from rice. So this is more of a rice dog, a rice carrot dog. And the sausage inside, it's not very snappy, like, like a typical corn dog sausage in the US. It's a very chewy sausage. The sweet element actually goes really well with the batter. The batter is crunchy. The sugar actually provides not only sweetness, but also a different textural crunch as well. The spice, Sweet and hot, who doesn't like that? I think the only X factor was the mustard, but honestly, it works. All right, one more thing I wanna have here. I need some mini watermelon juice. And this juice is made with uh, apple watermelon. What's really cool about this is they ask you to pick your own watermelon, so I'm gonna pick the cutest. Oh, not only do you get a watermelon, you get a toy. Mm. Oh, that's a perfect way to wrap up tonight. Mm. So having been to both of the markets, the five day market and this market, they're both really traditional markets, but the feel of this one is completely different um, than the five day market because just walking around, Maybe it's because of the food court. There's a lot more energy here. There's a lot more young people here. There's music blasting. It's just a more fun vibe. I think the five day market is better for groceries. It's better for knickknacks where maybe you need a comforter. But this place, this market is all about the food. I mean, whether you need some banchan or fresh seafood and then, you know, get tired of shopping and come to this night market for dinner, it's got your day covered. And I, of course, had a fun couple days exploring both markets. And if you want to do the same, the information for both is listed in my description box below. Guys, this is my last full day here in Jeju. It's been a blast. I, I really enjoy myself here. It's very relaxing. Food, phenomenal. Tomorrow, I'm back to Seoul for more food adventures. Then it's off to Japan. So 
follow along. This Asia trip is not over. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Until we eat again, I'll see you later.